A very warm welcome from wherever you are. Thanks for the 100 subs. And today we have a special episode. We will we'll, we'll be reviewing the FW15C, the car that won the Drivers and Constructors World Championship in 1993. And today we have the Squarzo, drove by Alan Prost, driven by Alan Prost in the 1993 World Championship with this beautiful engine there at the back. And the Mini Chumps version, um, Damon Hill used to drive this one i guess this is one of the early iterations of of the fw 15c maybe it could have been a show car because the nose there at the front is a bit too big anyway more on that later as you can see here the seat belts are painting on the seat painted on the seat uh you would expect the reflection or the mirror the engine cover on the mini chubs does not come off some really good details there at the back now same angle for the quartzo this is driven by alan prost um, as you can see, the driver figure is 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 there. Hel uh, the uh, seat belts are are, are coming uh, of the driver's uh, uh, body. It's pretty cool, and obviously the massive centerpiece, which is the engine, exposed engine. Now both of these have quite flimsy rear wings, but who's gonna touch them? <laughs> you just put them in a display cabinet and never touch them again, except for making a video. And talking about the engine, there's this massive engine cover that comes off from the Quartzo model. That's why the, the mirrors are, um, are rubber. Let's take the Mini Chumps version and take a closer look. As you'd expect, the, actually the Mini Chumps feel quite, feels quite heavy compared to the Quartz. You would expect it would be the other way around. Coming, um, coming to the nose, as you can see here, it has a much wider nose cone than, um, than the Quartz version. So I'm thinking this was... Maybe a show car or maybe um, used for, for testing or something. I don't have the original box, so I can't, I, I just can't check. As you'd expect from Mini Chumps, good quality there on the um, on the wheels. Um, yeah, and is the dub, is the FW15, so it doesn't say it's the FW15C. Might be a telling that this is this might just be a show car. And now the, the Quartzo. Both of these cars are 1218, of course, if you haven't realized by now, but they're quite big. Uh, and yeah, this one feels a, a bit lighter than the Mini Champs version. And look at the details on this engine. I mean, you just can't ask for more. And good luck find, finding this model on the market because it just doesn't uh, doesn't come cheap. Uh, I got a bit lucky. I got actually two of these and sold one. And um, yeah, I just say I, I made my money back. Um, however, the as you can see, there's a bit of dirt here on the driver, but nothing too major. Uh, if anything, it adds more um, patina to the whole thing, so it adds uh, add, adds a bit of character to to the entire car. I just love the Sega feet there. <laughs> I thought that that's quite amazing when I when I was watching this live on TV. I just noticed uh, something on these cars. Um, as you can see here, the Mini Chumps version, especially on the wheel nut, uh, there there is an attempt to mimic a wheel nut of, of some sort. But uh, it's not immediately ob immediately obvious if there's uh, something there. Uh, whereas on the um, quartz version, as you can see, there's a clear wheel nut, and uh, at least there's an attempt. It actually quite looks quite good. It's almost a multi-layer wheel nut, as you would expect from from that era. And I really like the um, the tires on uh, on uh, on on the quartz car. Now coming back to the car itself, the FW15C. Um, Needless to talk about it, has all the electric assists. I also have it in a 1 to 43 version. This is the Eagle Moss one, so it's not a Mini Champs. They were utter dominant in 1993. I think they won 10 races. Uh, Alan Prost won like what, seven or something. And Damon Hill won also three. And for some reason, Damon Hill didn't finish second in the championship. So a certain Ayrton Senna finished second behind Alan Prost. Uh, so it's just a testament of how, how talented Senna was. As you can see here, the um, uh, the nose cone is again, uh, it's a bit bigger than as you'd expect, it's probably the same mold for the 1 to 18. So I'm thinking it's sort of like a, a show car of some sort. So there you have it. Do you guys have these cars in your collection? Um, I think the quartz one every collector should have. Um, good luck getting it right now. It's, yeah, it's it's not, uh, it's a bit difficult actually to get one, so one, of, one of those cars. So that's it for today. Thanks for watching and subscribe to the channel and I'll see you in the next one. Bye. Bye for now.